Hi, it's Mr. Baker here. Today we're going to be looking at the force on a conductor in a magnetic field. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the force on a conductor and we're going to be answering this question. How can I calculate the strength of the force on a wire in a magnetic field? Okay, so remember this. So we know that when we've got a conductor and it's got an electric current flowing through it, it will induce a magnetic field around it. If that is placed inside a, another magnetic field, then it will feel a force. And we can use this rule, the left hand rule, to find that the direction that the current carrying conductor will move. So the thumb shows us the movement, the first finger shows us the direction of the magnetic field, and the second finger shows us the direction of the electric current. Have a go at this one. Which direction is the Y being forced then? So pause the video, see if you can work it out. Okay, do you think you know? Very good, so it should be out of the board. So we've got our first finger going from north to south. Our second finger is going down. So that means our thumb is coming out of the screen or out of the board. Let's get to the focus of what we're doing then. How can we calculate the force on a conductor? Well, it's with this equation here. We can calculate it using this equation. Force equals magnetic flux density, which is the same thing as the magnetic field strength, times the electric current, times the length of the conductor in the magnetic field. And we have the symbols here, F for force, B for magnetic flux density, I for current, and L for length. So we get F equals bill. So it's quite a nice one to remember, F equals bill. F is the force in newtons, B is the magnetic flux density in tesla, I is the electric current in amps, and L is the length of the, mag length of the conductor in the magnetic field, and that's measured in meters. Okay, let's have a look at an example then. So if we've got a 10 meter long power line carrying a current of 20 amps that's perpendicular to the Earth's magnetic field of 5.5 times 10 to the minus five Tesla, what is the magnetic force experienced by the power line? So tricky because we've got 5.5 times 10 to the minus five, but apart from that, we're just putting those numbers into the equation. So first of all then, remember Desra, our data. So our data is we've got the current is 20, we've got our magnetic field strength or magnetic flux density is 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5 and we've got the length of the conductor in the magnetic field is 10 meters. E, our equation, is F equals bill. Substitute those things in. So F equals 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5 times 20 times 10. R, we don't need to do anything with our rearranging. So all we're then doing is getting the answer. Desra is data, equation, substitute, rearrange, and then answer. And here we get an answer of 0.011 newtons. Okay, so this is what we've done. You should be able to state that when a current flows through a conductor, a magnetic field is induced, and you should be able to calculate the force acting on a conductor when it's placed in a magnetic field. Okay, so that's been a lesson all about the force on a conductor in a magnetic field. I've been Mr. Baker, this has been another physics video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.